How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Countdown video. We only have 44 days left until the game's release on December 7th and today I'm coming at you with even more evidence for today's supposed leak. As always and I cannot stress this enough, we have no idea if this evidence is going to prove true or not so make sure you take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about it just for fun. If you'd like to read along while I talk, you can find a link to each of the original posts I'm going to be referencing in the description bar down below. And now, with all that out of the way, let's jump right into the newest evidence. So before we get started with the evidence, I do have to tell you guys what leak I am referring to, just in case you guys haven't gotten the chance to see it or you haven't heard about it yet. I actually did make a whole video about it earlier today, so I will leave a link to it in the description bar as well as the pinned comment. So that way, if you haven't already seen it, you can go check out that video and then come right back to this one. However, before we get started, I'm going to do a quick overview. So basically, earlier today, a picture was leaked out that was actually from a Snapchat, and it was of the Everyone Is Here poster, and it had seven new characters on it. The seven new characters were Ken, Isaac from Golden Sun, Mock Rider, the Chorus Kids, Banjo-Kazooie, Gino and Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, right away you might be like, well, people can fake that all the time. Well, this guy, the guy actually leaked his name along with it, and it turns out this guy actually does work for a promotional company, so a company that makes video game promotions and stuff like that. And he actually and we know that this company works with Bandai Namco, who are the developers of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. As of the time of this recording, every single person has been trying to debunk this, but to no avail. We do know that the person who leaked this does have ties with promotional items, and not only that, all of these renders are brand new, and the other piece of evidence actually comes from the new Grinch movie. So as you can see in a couple of the pictures, we actually see that the Grinch movie has a couple of promotional items scattered around with the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate items, and all of them are brand new renders as well, giving even more credibility to this leak. Now let's move on to some of the new evidence. So a couple of days ago, I made a video regarding this guy named Tass Nut, who was actually one of the people who originally leaked Cloud back in the Super Smash Bros. 4 days. Now, when I was looking at this leak, I thought about it for a few minutes, and I wanted to make a few connections to it because I think that it is important. So basically, Tass Nut, remember, he's the guy who leaked Cloud back in the Smash 4 days, said, That's what I was trying to say. The short of it is that it is a leak. I'm assuming one from somewhat recently spurred some internal discussion. I don't know which leak it is, but I would have to assume it was image-based to catch attention. Yes, this means that I have a decent idea of which character it is, but it's ultimately total speculation on my part because, again, I don't know which specific leak it might be. I only think I have an idea because of where I heard it from and whatnot. What I mentioned originally is all I am concretely sure of. That's why I'm not being any more specific because any specificities are just educated guesses. So why even bring it up you fairly ask? Because I love it when we analyze leaks. I also find the straw polls and music, blog, and box theorizing to be a little dull, so I'm trying to avoid more wheel spinning in the thread. So the key word here is that he thinks that it is going to be an image leak that is causing all of this internal discussion within Nintendo. Well, I'm here to show you guys that someone actually correctly predicted on September 28th all of the characters that were shown off on this leak. So let's go over what this poster said. So before we start reading this guy's post, I do want to let you guys know that it is extremely graphic, but thank you to Papa Genos because he was actually the one who blurred out all of the bad words. So this post was made on Saturday, September 29th, excuse me I misspoke, and it was posted by Anonymous. It starts by saying, suck my blank. These sources are literally pulled out of someone's blank. They guessed a few things right, but they're broken clocks, lol. Give Nintendo more credit, there is literally a team of people that curate the hype train that you think they blank put Fire Emblem, literally who's, and boring blank Pokemon in the final stretch. I feel bad for the disappointingly large number of people who have accepted their fate and think that blank Steve and a grand blue character will make it too. The team has made impossible blank happen and you blank are losing hype because you're humoring these blank theories 
because someone saw a headline about Psy Games and Nintendo working together, so proof. Wow, this source guessed Isabel and Simon. Proof. Here's an actual blank leak, you blank. There is no new playable Pokemon. Boo hoo. Be happy with the nine you have now. There is no blank Steve. There is no more Fire Emblem. There is no Grand Blue, but Shadow and Ken are Echoes. Isaac is in. Chorus Kids are in. Gino is in. Mock Rider is in. Banjo is in. Rayman was cut. Monster Hunter was cut. Dixie Kong was cut. Taboo, Necrozma, Crazy Hand, and Spirit Hand are bosses. Blank my blank. Wait and see, blank. You all blank leakers. Blank Nintendo, blank you. So now that we've gone over this entire leak, let's talk about it. So I guess I should just start by saying, this post was extremely hard for me to read through. Not because it was written badly, but because I am a family-friendly channel and I don't really like swearing. So it was just a little bit difficult for me to go through. Now with that out of the way, let's just talk about what he actually says. So basically, this guy guessed every single character correct that ended up on the leak that came out today. Now, this is extremely interesting, because we have people like Vergaven who leaked that Incineroar was going to be in the game, but Incineroar wasn't on the list at all. He correctly predicted that we were going to get Mock Rider, Chorus Kids, Geno, and Banjo, and honestly, that prediction does give him some credibility in my eyes. I wonder if anyone is reaching out to him right now and trying to contact him, because I feel like this guy actually does have inside information, and he just gave away a lot of stuff he probably wasn't supposed to. Another thing that I was thinking about while reading this leak is what if the leak that Tasknut was referring to was actually the pictures that we were getting today. Now granted, they didn't surface until today, but at the same time, they could have been around for a lot longer than any of us knew about. We know that they originally came out today, but maybe Nintendo found out a lot earlier that this had happened, and that's why they were doing everything to prevent it. I'm not really sure, but it definitely is something that could have happened. After that, we actually got something sent in by my buddy Xenowolf, so thank you so much Xenowolf. But apparently, this Twitter account named Nintendo Act 2 tweeted at GameXplain, Hello GameXplain, we just called the workplace listed on the supposed leaker's LinkedIn profile and can confirm that he works there. So right away guys, we have even more evidence that this is real. Every single sign is pointing to this leak being real except for the blurriness of it. However, the only other thing that I wish we could have gotten is I wish we could have found out if this company was actually working on promotional items for Super Smash Bros. and The Grinch. Now at this point, I think it's super safe to assume that they are, but at the same time we have to remember to take it with an atomic level of salt the tiniest amount of salt you can think of, just because there is always that tiny chance that it is not real. The very last thing I want to point out before we go is that the people that are saying that this leak is fake also probably said that the ESRB leak of Super Smash Bros. 4 was fake. Now, you can look at this any way you want, and if you do have any solid proof as to how this leak is fake, I really want you to tell me in the comment section down below, because at this point I am 100% convinced this is real. I understand that the picture is blurry and that it doesn't look the best, and I heard that a couple people think that Banjo's uh, red render looks a lot like the Banjo and Kazooie render from Smashified, but I don't see that at all. I think that all of these models look unique, and even though we don't have a high definition, definition image of them, I still think that all of them look good enough to say that they are real. The other common argument I see that is used to try to discredit this leak is that the shadows under the characters have moved and they don't look very good, but I'm here to tell you guys that in each update, every time that the Smash banner or Smash mural is updated, the shadows move. And we have to remember that this picture is still kind of blurry, so this might not 100% be the best photo, which is why the shadows might look off. I really don't understand how anybody could say that this is fake, but if you truly believe that this leak is fake, please tell me why in the comment section down below. I'm extremely interested to hear why, and if you give me a good reason, I will be sure to, to answer you and also have a civilized talk with you in the comment section down below. So please guys, let me know what you guys think about all of this brand new evidence in the comment section down below. 
after healer hearing all of this do you believe that this leak is now 100 real like i do why or why not thank you guys all so much for watching make sure to subscribe share and like and i will see you guys next time take care